How's it going, everyone? This is Trainer Connor, your coach of the San Francisco Swampers. Today, we're doing a week three analysis video for our next opponent here, the Boston Bear Kick or U Turn Crowback. Alright, so week one and two. Those battles are already up. If you want to see them, you go get on my playlist and see them again if you want to. But if you did see those battles, you know that we are 2 and 0, meaning that we have 2 wins and 0 losses. Heading on to week 3. Alright, now just to clarify my team real quick, I have a Mega Gengar as my Uber pick. Talonflame, Ferrothorn, and Kiram Black are my OU picks there. And my UU picks are Flygon, Mian Shao, and Gastrodon. No, I mean Umbreon, excuse me. But Gastrodon, Gigo, Wigglytuff, and Avalug, and Colesser Sang Behem are all my lower class Pokemon there. So there you go, and then my opponent, the Boston Bear Kick, from left to right, he has a Kong Kyfusion, Kyflosion, Torterra, Registeel, Sharpedo, Clefairy, Mesprit, Dragonite, which, by the way, Dragonite does not exist anymore. During free agency, the Boston Bear Kick were able to draft Raikou instead of Dragonite. Alright, so with that said, he has a Raikou instead of Dragonite. He has a Melodic, Landorus, Incarnate Form, Mew, and Crobat. Okay, so we can definitely see a few threats there on my opponent's side. I fear the... I have to say Raikou actually handles my members pretty well. And yeah, I know you're looking at Dragonite, but it's actually Raikou, just to clarify that. I just don't have it in this picture. So yeah, Raikou can do some decent work. I have to consider that because I know that Raikou can go Scarf. He can run Train on my team and even Talonflame. He has Gale Wings as a priority ability there, but Brave Bird, which is a flying type move, won't work against Raikou that much because he's an electric type. So that's a threat. I can definitely see Registeel being an issue. Yes, I have Talonflame still, but he, I mean, Registeel can be defensive. He can set up entry hazards. Just entry hazards kill, man. They kill my entire team to be honest. So I believe that Avalug, who has access to Rapid Spin, it's going to be very important to bring him along just to get rid of those entry hazards. But granted, I will lose the ability to bring Kiram Black, and Kiram Black is also an Ice-type Pokemon. Kiram Black handles a ton of the Boston Bear Kicks Pokemon really well. So it's really tough to decide. I'm just going through the threats. So we see Raikou being a threat. We see Registeel being partially a threat. Typhlosion. Typhlosion looks really scary unless he's not scarfed either. He's got a couple of Pokemon that could be scarfed. But Typhlosion being scarfed, he can actually go for Eruption and just wreck my entire team. Not going to lie, with the exception of Gastrodon and Ditto, if I can bring it and transform it to him. Everything else, like, my Logic is defensive, yeah, but I can probably handle it with what I've got, Karen Black and, let's see, Gengar and Ferrothorn. So yeah, my Logic and Mew and Langorus, Crobat. Torterra and Kong Kelger, those guys I can handle, but Typhlosion, Raikou, 
and Roger Seal. Even Sharpedo and Clefairy are not scary. Yeah, Sharpedo can go Mega, but at the same time, I've got options for him. So, my game plan here, it looks like, ah, uh, it's so hard to decide, really. Um, either Avalug and Karen Black, they're all Ice-type Pokemon. If I bring Avalug, yes, I can get rid of Entry Hazards. I can bring Karen Black, but that wouldn't make sense to bring two Ice-type Pokemon, really. I mean, yeah. But if I were to bring Karen Black, then I would have all the answers for the majority of my opponent's Pokemon. Gengar and Talonflame looking really good here for some more offensive pressure. I think Gastrodon will not work this battle, I have to say. Because, like, yeah, they're sc scald for a chance to burn, but there's a lot of Pokemon that can handle it pretty well. And, you know what, U-Turn Crobat knows me really well. Um, and can I tell you guys, we actually had a exhibition match during week one. So we had a practice battle, just to feel ourselves out a little bit. So now we know each other's Pokemon really well. This is a rematch. That's what we're doing. Um, but yeah, I don't think carrying Gastrodon in this battle will work. I like Umbreon and Behem as a core, just because Behem is, well, it's going to be an offensive Behem this time. Last week it was a defensive set that kind of wrecked shop in my last video. So I'm going to bring a much more offensive Behem alongside Umbreon for some wish support. So I guess I can carry Karen Black and Umbreon for wish support. That way if he has energy hazards and I don't have Avalug available, then I can use wish. Man Xiao is looking really good here. I don't see Wigglytuff, Flygon, and Ditto working out in this battle for some reason. It's just not working out. So yes, we're going to be using Gengar, Talonflame, Umbreon, Behem, Mian Shao, Kiram, Black. Looking really good here as a set Pokemon pair there. And I guess, my guess for U-Turn Crobat, I'm definitely going to see either well, I, I guess Langarus will come to set up entry hazards. I definitely will see my Logic. I will definitely see Raikou, most likely. Typhlosion, maybe Registeel, Conkelder. So yeah, we got some Pokemon that are scary. And I hope that this battle that we're going to be having here will be a good one. Because it's a rematch, darn it. It's a rematch. And you know how epic rematches are. And to let you all know, I did not save the exhibition match. Not going to work out in the ILL. Wouldn't it make sense? But anyway, so that's my analysis video for week three. We're facing the Boston Bear Kick. If you enjoy this analysis video, I know my analysis videos are not spot on perfect. But, you know, I just wanted to get out there to give you guys my thought process and I hope that we have an excellent battle. Alright, so Wednesday is the battle day. Look forward to it. And I'll see you all on the battlefield on that day. Stay tuned for more. Alright, have a great day, trainers.